Here is the shot outside. Now, we've had a good looking day. Now, granted, there was some haze in the sky. And you know what? At right, at right now, at this hour, we're 63 with some haze in the sky. You can't see it because it's, well, it's nighttime right now. And that haziness is going to be part of the forecast tomorrow because there is another air quality alert that's in place tomorrow. I'll show you that in just a bit. Uh, the temperatures are going to be warmer. We're rising up into the 80s tomorrow. And then by Friday, we're rising up to like around 90 degrees. There is a PM storm chance the second half of the day on Friday. It's not widespread. It's not a whole lot, but th there will be some spotty possibly storms out there. And then a major cool down comes for the weekend. Uh, better rain chance as well. In, for, in terms of that air quality alert, so here we are. All of New Jersey, this Fairfield County in Connecticut, that air quality alert is in effect for your day tomorrow, just like you had it today. And it was a little bit less today than it was yesterday, maybe a little bit less tomorrow as well. But still, these are low-level particles in our air that can, uh, can, that can affect your respiratory system if you've got any sort of respiratory problem. So 84 ends up being the high temperature. So we're warming up tomorrow. I told you earlier, 84 is a typical temperature for like the beginning of July. Well, we're getting a summer feel to our day tomorrow. All right, as we look at the biggest day we have temperature-wise, it's going to be Friday, all the way up to 89. I do believe there's going to be some 90-degree readings out there. And then that chance for a little pop-up shower or storm Friday will lead to a better chance for some rain on Saturday as the front comes through and drops those temperatures. You're going to go from 89 on Friday afternoon to 68 on Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, sort of a, a similar sort of coolish day out there. In terms of how we see everything playing out, watch this, all right? This little deck of fog that you see way offshore, that's going to push onshore for the morning hours, there could be some fog for our coastal communities. That then burns off. You get some sunshine out there. Friday, a little bit of that morning fog again. That burns off. You do okay. And then the second half of the day, this is showing 1.30. This is all prefrontal activity. The front is still up to our north, but it starts to push in. A little bit of instability. Again, we're talking almost 90 degrees. It pops the isolated shower or storm. Isolated at 1.30. And then here's your picture as you roll into, like, say, 8 p.m. Still isolated spots out there. Not as much south as what we see north of the city. That's 8 p.m. on Friday. Here's your front right here. That's going to pass through with a better chance for some rain on Saturday, but also cooler air. And that's what a cold front does. It separates air masses. Warm air colder air on the back side. So we, told, we showed you that we're going to go from, you know, that 90, excuse me, that 89 degree reading down to 68 Saturday afternoon with a chance for some wet weather. And then Sunday, similar temperature reading. I think it's a less of a chance for rain on Sunday, but you're talking 69 degrees there. 60% chance for rain, 30% chance on Sunday. So you're kind of unsettled out there. That is the way that we see the weekend and the amount of rain you pick up. Looking to be about a half an inch or less, but if you look out towards like Narragansett Bay, uh, maybe a little bit into Massachusetts there, that red color shows you two to three inches of rain. If that budges a little bit more to the west, it would be affecting us. I'll keep an eye on everything as I show you the seven-day forecast. 84 leads to 89 on Friday, a little bit of a, a shower or storm chance late Friday, 60% chance on Saturday at 68 about a 30% chance on Sunday at 69. And then next week, Monday still holds on to a bit of a rain chance. Hmm. Hey, man, we're two and a half inches below where we it's should be. It's the weekend. For, for me. Just I know it is. I know it is. You had a great weekend last week. Just <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. It's not personal.